All right, here we go. Question number 18 of 18. This is our last problem on our college algebra homework number five in my lab math. And I did save the best for last. Here we have a rational inequality. It says is greater than or equal to three. And they want the solution set using interval notation. So I've got that written down up here in my window. Let's see how to work this out. The first thing I notice is that the right hand side is not zero and it needs to be. So that means the first step is to bring this three over to the other side so that we can make that greater than zero. So that's going to give us x minus 17 over x minus 18. That's going to become minus three greater than zero. You do have to have it greater than or less than or whatever the inequality is to zero. Now, the next step. Notice I've got this fraction minus three, and I can make the three a fraction by putting it over one. And do you see I'm trying to subtract two fractions? So in order to add or subtract fractions, I need a common denominator. So I'm going to have to find a common denominator Oh, for these two fractions. So here we go. We've got x minus 17 over x minus 18 minus. Now the 3, remember I said the 3 is understood to be over 1. And we need to multiply this denominator here by something that will make this denominator. We know that 1 times anything is itself, so this needs to be x minus 18. Do you see that? 1 times x minus 18 is x minus 18, and then the denominators will match. But whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So multiplying the top by x minus 18 also, greater than 0. And now we're going to need to take here the minus goes with the 3. We're going to need to take this negative 3 and distribute. So the numerator, we're going to have x minus 17 minus 3x. Negative times a negative makes a plus. Let's see here. What is 3 times 18? 3 times 8 is 24. 54. All over the common denominator. And then I need to simplify the numerator by combining like terms. So I've got 1x minus 3x, which is negative 2x. And I've got negative 17 plus 54, which I'm going to pull up my handy-dandy calculator just to make sure I don't screw that up. Negative 17 plus 54 is... 37 all over the common denominator greater than 0. All right, so now that I have this rational inequality simplified, it's now greater than 0. Now I can set the numerator and the denominator equal to 0 to find my two critical points. So we're going to say negative 2x plus 37 equal to 0, x minus 18 equal to 0, and I'm going to do the second one first because it's freaking easy. So x equal 18, that's a critical point. Over here on the first one, if I bring the 37 over, that's going to be negative 2x equals negative 37. Divide both sides by negative 2. Negative over a negative makes a positive 37 halves. And so now I have my two critical points, okay? And so the next step is we're going to go to the number line, and I need to put my two critical points, and I do need to put them in the right order. So how do I tell which is bigger, 37 halves, or 18. Well, I need to take 37 halves and divide it and make a decimal. And again, I'm going to use my calculator for that. I've already got 37 divided by 2. 
Notice my calculator displays it as an improper fraction. I have to click the SD button to get a decimal, and I can see that that is bigger than 18. So we know that the smaller of the two is 18, and then this is going to be 37 halves. Now, open circle or solid dot. So remember the numerator critical point, which is the 37 halves, he depends on the inequality. Okay, so if I go all the way back up to the top, the inequality is strictly greater than, it doesn't have the equal to, so he's going to be an open circle. And the critical point that comes from the denominator, which was the 18, can never be solid. He's always an open circle. And then I'm going to need test points in each region to see whether we get a true or a false statement. So I need a number less than 18. I'm going with zero because that's easy to work with, and it's definitely less than 18. Remember, we just figured out that 37 halves is 18.5. So a number bigger than 18.5, I'm going to go with, I don't know, let's say 20. That's definitely bigger than 18.5. And then I need a number between 18 and 18.5. Let's think about money. That might make it easier. What's an amount between $18 and $18.50? Well, I'm thinking 18 and maybe a quarter. That's halfway between those, isn't it? 18, 18 and a quarter, 18.50. So that gives us <clears throat> three test points that we're going to need to take, and I'm going to plug those back in here, back into this simplified form. You could also go back to the original and test, but I think it's going to be easier to go back to this where it's just greater than or equal to zero and test, okay? So here we go, negative 2x plus 37, negative 2x plus 37, Remember, I'm testing my zero first, okay, so x is zero, over zero minus 18, and we want to know, is that greater than zero? All right, so negative 2 times zero is zero, which makes the numerator 37. Zero minus 18 is negative 18. A positive over a negative is negative, which is definitely not greater than zero. Negative numbers are not greater than zero, and so that tells me this is going to be false, and so we're not going to shade that, which tells me this is probably true and this is probably false, because they usually alternate. All right, so let's check and make sure. I'm going to check the 20 next, because it's the next easiest one to work with. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2 times 20 plus 37 over 20 minus 18. And to figure that out, I'm going to go to the handy-dandy calculator. Okay, with my fraction button, I can say negative 2 times 20 plus 37 over, I'm going to move down, and do 20 minus 18. Notice you can put that in all at one time in this calculator, and that's going to tell me negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves greater than 0. So is negative 3 halves greater than 0? No, that's false, which I predicted that to be false. And now we're going to check 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter plugged in for each x is going to be 18 and a quarter minus 18. And you better believe I'm going to go to the calculator for that one. That one's not going to be fun. Here we go. Negative 2. 18. 
15 and a quarter plus 37 over 18 and a quarter minus 18 and that actually ends up being a whole number kind of cool all right so that says 2 is greater than 0 2 is greater than 0 is that true or false definitely true which is what I predicted and then remember that we do want to shade the true stuff so we're going to shade everything in between 18 and 37 halves and at this point I have enough information that I can write the interval notation so moving from left to right we can see that the shading starts at 18 but it's an open circle so 18 is not included and it's going to shade up to 37 halves but that is not included and so that should be our solution in interval notation let's see if that's correct being careful to type that in correctly oh there it is wow all right so if you have any questions or comments feel free to put those in the comment section below or you can text me and thanks for watching